Okay. Got it. This is Michael interview. Take one, Mark. So when you think of the employee resource network and the idea of getting employees together who not only are from the same or similar communities, but are like-minded in how they want to approach those communities, it really gives us the opportunity to identify what's working and what we could be doing better. When we got together this time around, we decided what we wanted to do is connect the dots on all the wonderful things that our employees are doing on behalf of clients and customers. And that's where we get into interviews with great business owners like Sean, who are running their own businesses that are native focused and that are not only extraordinarily popular, but they're blowing up in a positive way. Chef Sean Sherman noticed when he became a chef that there was no Native American restaurants anywhere. So his big thing was trying to find this beautiful food that grows and is indigenous to North America that everyone took to Europe and kind of made it their own. Indigenous has never really been a part of the culinary scene in America, which is a big reason you don't see native restaurants all over the place, you know. I think now we're coming into uh, an era where there's a lot of people of color, a lot of communities bringing forward their food traditions. You can't have American food without the indigenous story. Ew. You don't have to do that. Okay. Yeah, you Sorry. You didn't film that, I hope. <laughs> Part of what the ERN program is to have that connection to community. So when they're going back to their home native communities or speaking with their relatives, they want to be able to tell them, we're doing really great things in each of our communities. These initiatives are really important because I think as a company, we need to support our community equitably. And I think for a long time, Native American and Alaska Native communities get overlooked. I think they're under-resourced and a lot of the different kind of programs and initiatives that corporate America starts don't always include tribal communities. I think nonprofits and organizations in the community need to be aware that we can help them do things. In the case of Migazi, they're having their grand opening on the building in October. Wells Fargo is going to be a sponsor for the grand opening. My mother set some great groundwork. It's a generational thing, and she worked with Migazi, and here I am picking up that work. I wanted to share that with everybody. I thought it was really important for us to bring our leadership team there to meet them. The ERNs have become communities where, you know, I was just talking to a woman this morning, took a job here and joined an ERN, and that's now where some of her best friends in this community are. We're kind of a family, and it's important for us just to be together. Um, and as Native people, we need that, and we thrive on that togetherness. And the ERNs feed into that, they supply that for us, and it gives us visibility. We're the smallest diverse segment in the bank, and we need to get our, our voice up and out and this is a way for us to do it. Mm -hmm.